What's up folks, Rafi here, back for another episode of Random YouTube Search. And this episode is going to be a little bit weird, alright? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start with one weird word, and then we're going to escalate, alright? So let's start with one, three, two, one. Alright, we got entomology, study of insects, okay? Let's do it. All right, on to our very first video here. Okay, so let's see how episode six starts off. And the magic word is entomology. I mean, I think we're gonna get a pretty straightforward video here, right? Here we go. So we got entomologist answers insect questions from Twitter. Okay, tech support wired. Okay, so 681,000 views 10 months ago and 11 minutes long. Okay, let's see if this is uh, entertaining here. Those are great. What? Yeah. What was it? Hey, hey, what? What? Buddy, Dry. You, just, you just ate an insect. Something with nutty aftertaste. Nutty, yeah, what? I'm down for it. Not what? bad. Hopefully it died of natural causes. Natural. I'm Sammy, your friendly you neighborhood him. entomologist. And I'm here All to these answer big your ones questions here. on Twitter. Look at the this big bugs. is insect support. Insect support? Oh no, are we gonna see? This dude eating bugs? At Adria Kaczynski. Wait, y'all, serious okay. question. Do ants right. and other little so bug boys Twitter. have tiny little lungs? Like, how the hell do they breathe? Adria. And why were we never taught this when we talked about exoskeletons Okay, okay and bugs? she wants to know how, how do insects bugs breathe. Work? An exoskeleton is something that can be pretty incredible for an organism, but it does not grow. He's pretty young creature. for an... So the major drawback to having somebody in this field, on the no? outside of your body is that you him. have to pop out of it. That Man, I hope he doesn't start eating these. Color. This is a roach that uh, has recently molted. During this, this period of time where they're white, there are a bunch of proteins in their exoskeleton that haven't reached the form Maybe where they become the solidified proteins his pets. that make their exoskeleton hard and crunchy. This gives them hard a and small crunchy. period of time where they can grow really rapidly before it solidifies. Oh, and he's going to eat them. in that stadium for a while. Like, they have holes on okay. the sides of their body called spiracles. Okay. Air diffuses Don't show me that. And they're able to get all of that oxygen to where it needs to go, albeit slowly. That's the reason slowly. why insects okay. can't mm -hmm. get to be huge, or one of the primary okay. reasons. All of that oxygen has to slowly get to the cells at the very center of their body. Okay. If it so takes why too long, can't those get cells big. will starve and die. So usually, about the size of a dinner plate is as big as insects can get a for diffusion to work efficient. Size of a efficient. dinner plate? At McGee Which insect is the size of a dinner if plate? cicadas are blind and they meet their limit, they just land. They land somewhere, they land on anything. It's kind of their thing. All right, they have a timing on the flight. Okay. Kind of perplexes me. There are plenty of organisms out there that cannot see that are capable of procreating and procreating well. Cicadas yeah, like, are very uh, well me. able to coordinate themselves, to move around, to I find what they need to find. A lot of their navigation happens based on sound. They're constantly making okay. noises that signal to the other, I'm interested in you, and I'd like to do this thing. Uh, the real question about cicada sex is, how do you have sex when your butt and genitals have fallen off? At this point, what? I'm talking about the mazasporum fungus. What, what do you mean your butt's fallen off? It's a type of fungus that is able to penetrate the cuticle of the cicadas, and Damn. as its fungal fruiting body grows, it replaces the genitals of the cicada. And oh no! The Stop back doing close-ups of, of the just fall off. disgusting insect there. But that doesn't there. stop the cicadas from wanting to mate. Oddly enough, they become hypersexual in this context and try oh, to signal the other cicadas. When they lose their butt, cicadas, regardless of gender, they become hypersexual when they lose the their butt. Process. When these cicadas attempt to mate, okay, with them, they walk away. With TMI. One of the worst venereal diseases that any creature can ever get. Uh oh, so really, the answer to your question? <laughs> that was a funny face. That I'm using relish. that. What are the best insects to eat? Bugs are no, really you don't eat insects. In no, fat, high in protein. But the ones that are best for you to eat, they no, happen to be don't. the ones that are bigger. Oh uh, no! Makes for more bang for your buck. Oh no! no He's gonna eat those giant cockroaches. Flies you eat probably never really going to be enough to Life. feel full. But you can feel full after eating a few cicadas or some grasshoppers. What? You want to avoid bugs that are like black and yellow, okay. black and orange, B black because and they're chemically yellow. Dependent. But black and orange there's plenty avoid of bugs out there that are so pretty the brown ones are, oh, things like crickets ugh. and silkworm larvae what? all the time ugh. to show you that nothing bad happens if you eat a bug allow me we happen to have some um, already prepared of course you do you got some silkworm uh, larvae what is here. that oh, fried those are great those are oh, great hmm? oh no no don't do that dried dry something with nutty aftertaste but yeah i'm down oh boy not bad can we circle back to the murder hornets? 
They didn't get a murder hornet. These okay, what is that about? Are starting to get the kind of attention that they actually deserve, and it's our hope okay. that this year murder we'll be hornets. able to find all of the Did nests I miss of these hornets that may that still be present. The whole the news on that. In several of our native. Beaches. I like his they're hair. They're not chasing down people. They're not trying to. <laughs> he looks like a toupee. In the night, uh, it's really the bees that they're after. But like a cool, cool toupee. People most likely to encounter them at. B underscore spooky. Yo, who knew that cricket ears Cricket's are right ears by their knees? Right by their I thought knees. that was pretty cool too when I first found that out. I okay. uh, read this book That's called interesting Chirping Insects when I was a little kid and was like, wait a minute, they have ears on their knees? What is it like when they wear headphones? Seriously, they're they don't, strange, they don't wear strange animals for having those sorts Probably of earbuds. But it works really well when you don't have a neck. You've heard the cricket yeah. chirp that's been used to quite good comedic effect in the past. There you go. They're trying to Nobody laughed at to your the joke. Other crickets out there. Hey, I'm single and ready to mingle. At Ditsy really? Druid, my squash plants Gosh, bring all I'm the bees start to the yard. Learning that like, cricket sound. You want some guards? Damn right, planet. The vast majority yeah, of bees fruits are pretty and cool, vegetables I guess. that we consume on a regular basis are the result of the pollination of insects. They really? are incredible. I it was your farms. squash bees are getting into those flowers. They're dancing around, shaking that? all the pollen onto their bodies. It is an hey, incredible buddy. experience, and I am really glad that they incredible do. Incredible experience. They do. What bees aren't You've doing? You've done it. We talk all the time. Honeybees, honeybees, honeybees. No. But there are a lot now we got to talk about there. squash there are 4, bees. 4,000 other species of bees in North America. Honeybees are last century. To our humble bees, dar with water what? or alcohol, yeah. and send it to the lab. Send it to the lab, boy. Why? So you can make more to kill us off. Weird. Well, that what? got dark really quickly. I know that science has several ills that, to account that for in its past, especially ills toward minority people. And so there can be reasons to be a bit nervous at times about the directions that things are going. Kissing bug. Thanks to what more diversity and greater like? transparency in science, I do think that things are progressing. Bring one out us and kiss it. explaining things more clearly, they need to know what bit. Kissing How bug. you treat someone who's that? been bitten by a Do lone star lips? tick is different from how you treat someone. Can be very competent vectors of viruses, bacteria, mm -hmm. fungi, and I knew that. parasites of fungi? various sorts into your body. The I always pronounce it fungi. Kissing bugs is because now, now I want to try, try that whole salt, salt water, water soap to see, to see if, if bugs, bugs come, come out of them. And what, what? happens if there What's are that? bugs? Do I just rinse them off and, and eat, eat them anyway? anyway? You kind of just rinse what them off and eat them anyway, or you just don't do the salt water soak at all? Because if you've been eating salt water fresh soak? produce, you've been eating bugs your entire life. No, I it's haven't. It's not just strawberries. It's pretty oh, much everything. Are you serious? The United States Department of Agriculture has standards for the amount of insect legs and whole bugs insect that can legs. be in any particular food product. Whole, what? And spoiler alert, the levels are higher than you will probably be comfortable with. But the reason oh, for that is because insects bugs? are just a part of life. No, they no, are no. present in all of the different my strawberries of the development of I've been that eating plant, that it's impossible for bugs them to in my strawberries to you, oh. having removed all of them. Thank you so much for oh. your questions. This has been Insects. All right. All right, moving on to the ratings. First up, we got entertainment. Okay, so our host here, Samuel, does a really good job. Um, you could tell he's someone who's really passionate about his field and he's very expressive uh, and the questions that were posed by Twitter uh, that he was answering uh, were some good ones uh, he made sure he answered the ones that you know we kept watching the video and not be bored by it so overall um, as far as entertainment goes I will give it a three out of five. All right, moving on to production. So this is a pretty competently edited video. Uh, it does lose a few points because the pictures of the insects and the video footages that were sprinkled in this uh, video were basically like borrowed footage or their stock footage uh, so it just loses a little bit of points for that because they're not the ones who produced that uh, you know they added like the cockroaches and like a microscope uh, on the table just to make it a little bit more interesting uh, so overall the best I can give for production is a 2 out of 5 
And finally, we got education, which is what this video is all about. Now, although the format is not the best, basically answering random Twitter questions, the host here, Samuel, does a fantastic job. He really packs as much information as he can for those answers, uh, especially when he has only 10 minutes for the entire video. So it's very, it's a very dense video with, with, with answers. So for what it is, the very best I can give for education will be a four out of five and not a bad way at all to start episode six. Let's keep at it. All right, we are back at the famous generator. And this time we're going to take it up a notch. Two words, baby. Three, two, one. We got swage, groove, grooved, shaped tool. Okay. And hectography. Hectography, okay. Process for producing multiple copies of writing. There you go. All right, moving on to video number dos. And we got dos words. A swage and hectography. Mm. Now, I have, I have no idea what kind of video this can even provide. Let's see. Okay, so we got a swagging machine. What does that mean, swagging machine? 60,000 views five years ago by Ivy Lee. I like swag. Swagging machine for cartridge heaters. What? Cartridge heaters? Okay, uh, so this is just a two minute video. Okay, hopefully we'll find out what this is all about. Let's see. What? Okay, so he's inserting, I guess the cartridges he was talking about or some kind of plates or something. You know what? I don't think this is English. It's not English. Nope. Oh, he's showing the difference of the two plates there. Okay, I guess he's setting this up for now. Why is he wearing a shirt like that? And he's like getting all dirty with this grease. Okay, anyways. Uh, all right, so he, he... Okay, so he's turning something in the back it's turning the, the the front part here and okay so i put another plate okay so uh, there's a hole in the middle so something goes in there for sure no not that you dirty mind okay so he's bolting this down uh it seems like an old machine to me right Maybe something from like the seventies or something. Okay, so okay, so he bolted down. Oh, he's closing the door. Okay, so are we done? What is? It? Okay, he started it up. Okay. okay, this thing is turning in the back. It's doing something. All right, so we're we're gonna get some uh, some rod action. The rod going in the middle. Is it twisting it? He's twisting the rod, or what is he doing? Some, it's doing something. Okay, it's pulling it back out. Okay, I see a lot of dust. Okay, he turned it off. Okay. And here we go. Okay, so he's measuring it. Oh, I see. Okay, I think I know what... what okay, so he's measuring this... The, the, okay, so I, I think I understand what had happened here. Okay, so it shaved the rod here. So it's checking the difference. Okay, that's what it does, I guess, the machine. Okay, let's see some comments here. I ran a number three rotary swagging machine for 10 years at University Swagging in Seattle. There's a swagging university. Interesting. That was, my, that was a fun job. Price, please, and different diameters. What does this do exactly? Okay, so this guy doesn't know what happened. Decreases the diameter of the tube. Yeah. 
That's right. It's, it shaves off uh, if you want a, a narrower uh, rod there. Okay, so it's a very specific machine. All right, moving on to the ratings. Okay, uh, first up, entertainment. Well, it was a really short video, but you know what? I was kind of curious to know what this machine does. So there's that. Uh, and that's about it for entertainment. Uh, best I could do is a one out of five. Next up is production. And well, you know, that's not the purpose of this video. It's just basically to show what this machine does. So it's just some guy recording the gentleman uh, that we see here. So it's not gonna get any points for production, zero out of five. All right, moving on to education. Well, we do learn this machine's purpose. Now, I don't know if it does other things that we don't see in the video, but but we only get to see, see it doing one single thing and that's it. Uh, and hence why it's short. A bit disappointing here, uh, just a one out of five, but I'm hoping we bounce back with the upcoming video. Let's cross our fingers. All right, we are back for our third search. And this will be familiar to some, the magic three words. Okay, so let's do this, three, two, one. Okay, we got proctoscope, instrument for examining the rectum. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we got maser, hardwood drinking bowl. Okay. And a mainsail, principal sail on a ship's main fast. I meant main mast. All right, time for our third video and, oh man, proctoscope. That is scaring the S-H-I-T out of me. Okay, let's do this. Oh no. Proctoscopy, a surgical procedure. Oh, what? No, what are these pictures? No, oh, God. 4,300 views seven months ago. Your practice online. Uh, proctoscopy rigid. Sigmoidoscopy is a procedure to examine the inside of the rectum and the anus. What did we do? Oh, God. This is going to hurt. Four minutes. Okay, at least it's four minutes. No, let's just click on this. Introduction. Oh, no. Proctoscopy is a diagnostic procedure oh, no. performed to examine the anus and rectum using a device called a proctoscope. It, why am I getting a rigid, tube-like instrument attached to a light source and a lens. The procedure is also known as rigid no. sigmoidoscopy. I, I don't Indications. Need to know all this. Your doctor may recommend a proctoscopy no. to look for signs of disease such as hemorrhoids or abnormal I'll, growths I'll, in I'll the anus it. or rectum. Locate the source of bleeding from the anus. Obtain Ooh. a small sample of tissue for what biopsy. What is that? Determine a cause Ouch. for constipation or diarrhea. Monitor or remove rectal polyps. B polyps. Screen for rectal, rectal or colon cancer. Cancer, oh God. Preparing for the procedure. Oh. You will be given specific instructions regarding preparation for the procedure. In general, I need you water. may be asked to Stop eating or oh, drinking great. anything the night before the procedure. <laughs> I need water, ma'am. Use an enema to cleanse your bowels. Avoid oh, taking any blood thinning medications cleanse as my they ears. may increase the risk of bleeding during the procedure. Arrange for someone to you drive you home You guys are pretty happy to go get the procedure, huh? Proctoscopy procedure. Oh. Most proctoscopy oh. examinations do oh. not require oh. anesthesia. Oh, it's... The proctoscopy I'm in pain. procedure may involve the following steps. You will lie on your side on the procedure table with your knees bent. A gloved, lubricated oh. finger may be inserted into your anus to check for blockage or tenderness. Mm. The lubricated proctoscope is gently inserted oh. through the anus and slowly passed My into the rectum. God. Air may be fed into like the a bullet to improve visualization. 
They're gonna shoot this you. This may cause a slight fullness and cramping sensation. Yeah. But you shouldn't feel any pain. Surgical mean, tools feel, may like be crazy? passed through the proctoscope to remove a polyp or abnormal tissue. Once the examination is complete, tissues. the proctoscope will be slowly oh, withdrawn please. out through the anus. The entire procedure may be completed in 15 to 30 minutes. 15 to 30 minutes of hell. Procedure care. After the procedure, you may experience temporary discomfort in the rectal and anal region. I, I, I got the discomfort before the procedure. Routine activities soon after the procedure. There may also I, be slight bleeding or blood in the stools if a polyp has been excised. These symptoms should go away in a few days. Please don't Risks. let me have this. Although a proctoscopy is a very safe procedure, there is a minimal risk of what? injury to the inner lining of the rectum or anus. Jeez. Infection. No, bleeding. no. You should talk to your doctor regarding your specific risks before undergoing the procedure. Uh, Summary. Yeah. A proctoscopy is done to visually examine the, the inner, inner lining yes. of your lower intestine and tool. anus. It can cause slight discomfort, but is sometimes oh, necessary happy. to accurately diagnose certain diseases, enabling you don't know what's gonna hit you. and better outcomes for the patient. Well, I guess if that's your nurse, I, I, I guess I'll... Uh, then that's fine, I'll, I'll go do it. What, what happened? Thanks for watching. What the hell is this skeleton? Okay. That is a long outro. <laughs> okay, I, I guess that's it. The, the outro is like over a minute. Let, let me just see. Anything else here? Nope, that is it. Okay. All right, moving on to the ratings. So, first up, we got entertainment. Well, obviously, it's not this video's purpose. But because this video gave me so much physical pain, I felt like I was getting the procedure that counts for something uh i can give it a one out of five all right moving on to production and uh well i think it's a mixed bag here so on one hand we got these computer generated uh graphics which show you the procedure and also Things that can happen inside your anus. Thank God for computers, uh, so we don't have to see the real thing here. Um, but on the other hand, it does use uh, several stock photos. And, you know, basically, they're just photos they've, th that's been purchased. And so it's not real effort put into the production with those. Uh, and also the video is really short. Uh, so the very best I could do is a uh, two out of five. And finally, we got education. All right, so I, I think this video does a pretty good job at letting people who are going to get this procedure, letting them know um, what to expect and what, it's, what it checks for. Um, it doesn't go too much into detail, but just enough. Uh, I'm sure those people who are getting this uh, have a lot of questions. Obviously, that's something you got to ask your doctor, but a good place to start here. I would say education-wise, this video, let's give it a 3 out of 5. All right, so we were able to bounce back. And uh, I'm hoping we're on a rocket ship here and not a trampoline. All right, we are in search of video number four. Uh, so we're going to do something we've never done before. We're going to take this up a notch. Four words, baby. All right, so uh, let's do, you know what? countdown starting from number four four three two one okay we got abradant a substance that abrades abradant okay 
Geniophobia. Fear of chins. <laughs> Fear of chins? What kind of phobia is that? Set Setigerous. Setigerous, okay. Burying bristles. Uh, malariology. Study of malaria. Okay. Well, let's see what we get. Time for our fourth video here. And we got these four weird words. Uh, you know what? I don't even know. I don't even remember the meanings already. I already forgot. Except for uh, malariology, I guess. Okay. So, um, you know, I guess something about malaria, right? Maybe study about it. Some something. Let's see. Uh, but instead, we got geniophobia, defecalosiophobia, and dishabiliophobia. Phobia Saturday. Okay. Uh, only 105 views, 8 years old, me and myself. Okay. In this episode, we take a look at the fear of bowel movements, chins, and undressing. Okay. This could be fun. Uh, five minute long. Okay, uh, let's get to it. Okay, Phobia Saturday. Okay. Hey guys. Hey. hey myself here. Welcome back to Phobia Saturday. Phobia Saturday. Today we're going to okay. be talking about the fear of chins, the fear of bowel movements. So and just, I forget the last he's just recording sorry, from his the last one. home. It just seems to be something. Well, I'm sorry if you can hear music in the background. Um, I'll try to cancel it out or something. But here we go with Phobia Saturday. The first one I'm talking about is the fear of... Yeah, the, the sound isn't great. He's probably rec using just the mic on Genophobia his computer. Genophobia is the fear of chins. Okay. Genophobia is the fear of chins. Yeah, Why can you fear chins? Chin who, who, who can fear that? How does that work? Phobia is Greek meaning fear, like always. Really strange fear, but okay. Um, causes are always traumatic or heretic. Dramatic? I'm not sure which one this would like, be. I don't think it was somebody who falls and hits his chin really hard. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Um, symptoms like who knows? always shaking. I think that's just made up. I don't believe that. Um, nausea, anxiety. Because you always see a chin. How could you fear chin. a chin? It doesn't make sense. Oh, this is like a joke one. Bad. Yes, Whoa. medicine can be prescribed. We're having some the next one we technical have difficulties. The fear of bowel movement. Fear and of bowel movement. It is called death, death colosidiophobia. Difficult. This one okay. has a big explanation on what it is, so I'm just going to read it. Fear of bowel of movement. Defecalophobia is the fear of painful bowel movements. The origin of painful. the word is Latin meaning from... Wasn't there this girl who died because he didn't want to go poop? I think she didn't want to go poop, she, so she died from it. Alguriso, aka Alguriso, is Greek meaning pain. Phobia is Greek meaning fear. Okay. He's reading the definitions from a dictionary. Isn't the best way to go about this, but okay. People with this osculophobia. He's having trouble reading those long words. Scatophobia, fear of facial matter. Corporophobia, fear of feces. Algophobia or algophobia or adenophobia or adrenophobia, which are the fear of pain. Um. This yeah. can either be heretic or traumatic. I Too bad about the mic. More traumatic because as a kid, it's hard to say hear him. You are allergic? Well, you're not really allergic to it, but every time you eat it, you get really painful bowel movements. I mean, I think it's a so you know, the, it's not a bad subject. A talking about phobias, the weird phobias. And then you get really painful bowel movements, and boom. You got a fear of bowel. <laughs> At least that, that's how I think it would start. I'm not some yeah. scientist or anything. I'm just fear of bowel movement. Yeah. Um, symptoms so like always nausea. Except this one, I, the symptoms for this one. I think I understand. Different. It's going to be that more of fear of bowel movement, but I don't think really it's a phobia. You know, anxiety from it. 
or something like that. And I don't think it's a fear. Can be prescribed. More like okay. they're like scared so, that it's going to hurt, so I basically. I, the, I had to pull up the web page. It was gone. But our last one is the fear of undressing. You can do cuts. It's okay. Fear of undressing. Okay, let's see about this one. So... Which one was this? Dishabiliophobia. I thought it's a phobia about washing dishes. Yeah, separate. Habilia is Latin meaning clothes, and phobia is Greek meaning fear of always, and it is a specific phobia. Causes traumatic regretic. I can see this one being more traumatic because, per se, um, fear of undressing. Yeah, I mean, I could see that in public. That makes sense. They start making fun of you. You are going to start to develop. You know, sometimes you get dreams. Dressing in front of people, which well, I used to get dreams that I'm yes. naked at school, yeah. elementary I don't school. Know what to say about it. That's just how I think it would happen, and I'm pretty sure that is how. And it used to freak me out. You have a different body than everybody yeah, else. this this aphobia I understand, but, but the name's weird. Dishabiliophobia. Such a weird um, name for that. Symptoms, How about undressophobia would have made more sense. And yes, medicine can be or naked phobia. Right. right. Thank you so much for watching this phobia Saturday. Okay, Today, buddy. For announcements, we I we are either at twenty four or I just wish you had a better mic. Which is awesome. Thank you guys so much. And I think that's all I have for the announcements this week. So thank you so much for watching and that'd be a perfect time for you to like. Hit that subscribe button now. Like and subscribe. See you next time. Plugging. Okay. All right. It's time for those ratings. So, first up, we got entertainment. And unfortunately, it just falls flat on its, on its face here. Ah, uh, boy. Okay. So, uh, the host here, uh, I don't think I got his name just seems very uncomfortable in front of the camera this might be one of his first uploads i i don't know maybe he got better but in this specific video uh he you could tell by his mannerism he, he's just not comfortable uh, it's not a bad subject uh to talk about phobia because it could be funny some of the you know having hearing about weird phobias you never thought possible uh, but it's it's just the way it's done. Uh, him reading off a dictionary and uh, giving his two cents is is just just quite doesn't work. So the very best I can do, uh, I I can't do better than zero out of five. Sorry. All right, on to production, and there is just so little. Uh, that it's not even worth mentioning, but uh, he has a intro uh, photo at the beginning. And also when he talks about the phobias, it just written on the screen and, and that's about it. As far as production goes, uh, it, like, yeah, you, you see how I complain about the sound. It, it was just awful. Uh, I, yeah, I can't give better than a zero out of five. And finally, moving on to education. Again, uh, there's very little. Uh, the only thing we really learn is some of those phobia names, and that's it. Uh, okay, you know what? I'll give him a single point for that. One out of five. All right. I was afraid we were on a trampoline, and that was the way down. So hopefully uh, the next one, well, I guess it can't go lower than this. So we should be going up now. All right. We are looking for video number five. Okay. We're going to go Super Saiyan right now. And we're going to get five words. Can you feel the excitement here? Let's see if uh, the internet can handle this. Five, four, three two one all right we got ergophobia fear of work <laughs> we got another phobia here isn't that funny 
fear of work yeah yeah that's uh probably just about 80 percent of people have this electri uh electri Electriomachy. Sorry if I'm spelling this wrong. I mean, pronouncing it wrong. Cockfighting. Really? Electriomachy. Okay. Spinach? Sp Wait, what? Spinach? Nonsense. Okay. Vinaya. Rules of Buddhist monastic life. Bittern. Small heron. heron. Small heron. Oh, that's a bird, I guess. Okay, well, let's see what we're going to get. Okay, video number five. Okay. So, I'm guessing this one is going to be a good one since we're like in a zigzag path here. Uh, up and down, so it's time to go up, right? Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what... See, the only thing is spinach. I guess spinach has two meanings, but it might think we're looking for the actual vegetable, so it might be something with that. All right, let's take a look. And we get, okay, so we got ergophobia at work. Um, okay. 182 views one year ago. Okay, by uploaded by ergophobia. But isn't ergophobia fear of work? So I guess fear of work at work. Okay, uh, two minute long. Uh, it looks like something musical. Wait a I don't know, maybe some song. Okay, well, let's let's take a look. Guys, what are we doing today? We're gaming. We are playing gaming. Gaming, definitely. That's what we're doing. Yeah. This is okay. a gaming, mad gaming, gaming setup. Gaming setup. <laughs> yeah, look at All right, so that's a garage band. That's a nice PC plugged into like. Yeah, are you gonna play Fortnite with the drum kit? Yep. Fortnite. What? Hi. Wait, Hi. What? We're what recording a video, man. Okay, they're excited to record a video. Whoa. What was that all about? Uh, uh, okay. What a terrible angle. Hey, buddy. What? Why? Oh, he thinks he's Kurt Cobain here. What? What? It's making me dizzy. Oh, I see. The band is at work, which is like playing their music, I guess. But it it's so poorly made video, unfortunately. I mean, I'm not getting a sense of what this band is all about, and it keeps. Okay, now we're, we're, we're going through a slideshow. Okay, so they're playing uh, at school or something. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, I mean, it's, it's good. Kids are playing music. It's good. For home. <laughs> they have the Middle Eastern carpet like system with them. Okay, see, now this is a little bit better here. Because we can actually hear what they're playing. No, nope, never mind. What the hell? A gun? What was that? Oh, one of those toy guns. What? <laughs> All right, time for the ratings. Okay, first up, entertainment. All right, so this video is like the literal opposite of entertainment. If you do not want to be entertained, I guess this is the video to watch. It, because it doesn't have any sense of direction, it's just random clips put together and uploaded. Yes, I get their kids and they're just having fun. They don't really care. It's As a viewer, it just doesn't work. Um, I, I can't give it any score, zero out of five. Okay, next up we got production. And as you can guess, uh, there's nothing there. It's just a, some random edited video clips. Zero out of five. And finally, we got education. And yeah, as you can guess, there's absolutely nothing to learn here. 
In fact, we don't even learn if this band knows how to play the instruments properly because they do it just for a few seconds in this clip. So a, a, a simple zero out of five here. And overall, a disappointing ending to this episode. And the grand champion of episode six is none other than Samuel the Entomologist, which was actually the first video we watched, so he hanged in there. Uh, Runner-up is Proctoscopy, followed by the Swagging Machine, with only two points, he got third. That that goes to show you how bad the rest are. Uh, followed by the Phobia Saturday, and finally and last is the Ergo Phobia. Well, if any of you like some of those videos, the links are below. Take a look at them, and well, see you on the next.